All right, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Thank you for asking. My name is Vahid Chitsos, part of the Elite Mastermind Group. This is where we talk about Dr. Hill's principles and philosophy. So, Colleen, go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're coming in from also, too. Yeah, so my name is Colleen Gallagher. I'm coming in from Arizona, and I'm super passionate about empowering people to understand how to use social media to create a social movement. Awesome. So what's been your experience with Dr. Hill's philosophies, thinking growers? Can you tell us some of the principles you're utilizing right now? Yeah. So, I mean, I definitely feel always the biggest principle that I use is imagination. I feel from your imagination that really creates your desire, which he talks about a lot. Um, and I feel if you're not imagining, you're just kind of looking around at other people and what they're doing and you start implementing that, it's not really going to be true to you. So it's not going to actually manifest in the physical because it wasn't from your imagination, from your goals, from your dreams. And then using that to, um, Oh, what's the word? To start to create a deeper desire within yourself. And and that when you when you get that momentum around that desire, that's when you can start to leverage like faith or the subconscious mind and all these other tools that he talks about um, to go there. But I personally believe for me, it's always imagining for yourself what you desire, what you imagine for the world and then and moving forward on that. Awesome. You guys just did a radio show, a podcast with Dom down in the uh... Arizona, what was the topic of that conversation? Was that it was, social media related or yep. was it self-development? Uh, it was social media so, social media related. Um, however, I really believe that social media is a tool that can be connected with spirituality. Um, I believe that we're all spiritual beings. And when we, and Dr. Hill as well, I believe had similar um, feelings. And I believe with social media, what's beautiful about it is when we actually leverage social media, it's the quickest way for the universe or God, whatever you want to call it to t let us know if we're in alignment with what we're doing and we're not like, it's going to let you get clients, receive clients, like get collaborations, get mentors. If you're really truly in that place um, or it's not. And so that was the radio show that Don Passett and I really went really deep into kind of that, the spiritual practices and your mindset and, and creating that. Why are you guys in Arizona? Like, out of everywhere in the states, like, are really? What is wrong? Come on, so that funny. is really happening, or is that what is happening? And I don't know about it. Well, you know, I just finished my master's of science in global technology and development. So I also am um, studying um, displaced people um, and how we can use social media to design education systems for them. So I just finished my master's here. I'm actually moving to LA Friday. Um, but, that was the smartest move you ever done. I'm going to give that's high five right there. I love it. That was the smartest move you ever done. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, when Arizona's when I was in Scottsdale, that thing was crazy. Those heat waves. Like I'm in LA, we get a lot of heat. Summers are not cool here. Summers are real summers, but it was just like, whoa. It just like you land in the airport and you just open the door. You're like, whoa. It just hit you. That heat is not a joke to mess around with. Yeah, it's like 44 degrees Celsius, like 116 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> that's it. That's the only place maybe that, you know, sometimes it gets too hot for the planes to land. So that's crazy. So you're moving down to LA. So what is conscious leader or, or being, what are some of the characteristics of a leadership that you think are important that you constantly keep posting? I see it on your Instagram. You keep talking about what are some of the qualities that individuals should be looking if they want to get mentorship by somebody? What are some of those qualities that those individuals should have? You know, I think mentorship or what I've learned from my own experience is mentorship is something that's so personal. And I really believe when you're, when you're looking for a mentor, when you're searching for that type of relationship, it really needs to be something that's felt from the heart. Um, and even in business, you know, I mean, personally, I, I agree with this is even, you know, from Napoleon Hill's teachings. If, if you want to start a business, but you're not madly in love with it, or you're not excited about it, you're not passionate about it, there's not something like a deeper meaning to it, you're going to fall out of love with it. You're not going to be happy with it eventually. And there's, it's going to spiral in other areas of your life. So I feel with a mentor, the, the, the biggest thing is, I always like to say the journey of your heart, like tapping into how you're feeling. And I know that's kind of weird for men or women who have been taught just like success and overachieve. And, you know, I often did that when I was in corporate America and lots of other areas of my life. But it, within that journey of coming back to how am I feeling? How am I being present with who I am? And, and how, 
has someone else done it in a way that feels good for me? Like it makes sense, their vision, instead of just going, well, it looks like they made it easier. They did it like they did these three steps and just got it. And when you start doing that, you're actually like skipping over the process and the journey of what's fun about being an entrepreneur, what's fun about being a business owner. And so I, I, I think just the biggest thing is like tapping into when you're talking to someone or you're with someone is how am I feeling when I'm speaking with them? How am I feeling about when they're talking about their business? Am I feeling like, yes, this is like, oh my gosh, I'm going to rush and I'm going to dart to like get this done. Or am I actually like, wow, I'm actually really excited about this. Like I'm getting curious about this. And I think that's the biggest thing of like allowing yourself to integrate with a successful mentor versus you yourself allowing yourself to be with a mentor just to get somewhere. I agree with that 100%. So let me ask you, uh, 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 let's just get into the, 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 the more of a practical part. Let's yeah. say I'm a single mom or a single dad. I have my nine to five, right? And I want to get into entrepreneurship or that's a big word people are using these days is just throwing around very loosely saying I'm an entrepreneur. Just because you post on social media, that doesn't mean you're an entrepreneur. Just because you don't have to clock in nine to five, that doesn't mean you're an entrepreneur. But the point that I'm trying to get over here is this. My question based on your personal experience, if I'm doing a nine to five job, which I love it, I think nine to five job is a blessing. You got the base income covered. You don't have to go all in and be all crazy and be nervous because a lot of people don't operate comfortably when they're uncomfortable. So they got the nine to five. My question to you is this. Do they need to call themselves entrepreneur? Do they need to compare themselves to people that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars? Or is it okay to make two, three thousand dollars extra money on the side? And is that possible through social media? Yeah, I, I feel the biggest thing you said, like, which I love is the is the first thing is like, you never want to compare. And I, and I feel when you start going into that place of I'm comparing, or is this possible? Maybe I have to be an entrepreneur or a business owner. Sometimes you don't have to maybe you you have like you said, your job that you work for and you love and you're like the coffee barista at the local coffee shop and you love it. And that's like the impact you get to meet all these amazing people, all these extraordinary and then maybe on the side you do like design work for um, different pages or web designer or you do like yoga. I mean, there's so many things that I, I feel it's just important. Like I said, it comes back to the practice of what is it you truly desire? And when you start looking at this person's making a hundred thousand dollars, this person's making a million dollars, this person's making this amount of money. Money is amazing. It's a, it's a great tool that's going to allow you to scale. However, money is only going to be able to show up when you show up for yourself and you are excited about your vision. Otherwise you will continue to, do things to get money, but you will feel drained, you'll feel unfulfilled. And so I feel like what you're sharing is, is yes, it's totally possible to do anything you want. It's, I mean, I think that's the whole the whole teachings of Napoleon Hill is everything, anything you desire, if it's your desire, if it's your truth, and if you do the work of l removing the limiting beliefs, removing the subconscious, getting in the, the vibration of positivity, of that's what I want, and moving through things that maybe are doubting you, that will create the extra amount. And sure, once as human beings, psychology, like once we make the 2,000, 3,000, we wanted, we wanted to do better. We want to be better. We want to give more because we're realizing our gifts. So we want to start teaching people how we did it. And so you kind of go from like doing it to becoming like teacher than to becoming like a greater part. But when you start out, sometimes you don't need to have the huge vision to like, oh my God, I need to travel the world or I need to be this multi-billionaire or whatever it is. Like most billionaires that started out like their plan wasn't to become a billionaire their plan was just they loved what they did and they took one step at a time and um i think that's the most important part love it you got two trips coming you you go to africa and you go into bali what's your plan for those yeah well before that i actually have new mexico so i'm going to Mex to new mexico that i have coming up for that's, 80 that's local that's, that's, that's kind of local that's and, uh, <laughs> you don't consider uh, that traveling <laughs> yeah i just got back from europe last last week so i was in portugal and london and spain and um i'm gonna be in bali i just i'm a professor at i trust you university it's very similar to mind valley if people haven't heard of Mind valley it's like a more kind of personal development um but more conscious and spiritual um and i also have um, africa coming up for a consulting that i'm able to do that is awesome. So how does it feel that, you know, I mean, I don't know if you know or not, but the only the, the reason why I got introduced to your page was because a couple of girls were raving about how you moving up and doing this, doing this, making impact. How does that feel to, to know that other females, majority of them, are looking up to you? How much of a responsibility is that on your shoulder? 
is it is it feeling good is it feeding your ego is it do you feel like oh now i got to perform how, how does that feeling happen because i i want to know cuz nobody listens to our channel nobody looks up to me so i i feel i should ask you see how you feel oh my gosh <laughs> um you know i've i've I always say like I'm just a reflection of other people. You know, I'm I'm just Colleen like living my life and I really believe in what I do. I believe in social media. I believe in the power of love and I believe like anyone can create freedom whatever that means to them. Um those are things I really believe. Those are things I know that any human being can uh, go through or create in their life. Um I don't really I guess get caught into um any time someone tries to idolize or separate i always go we're just we're just the same we're at the same level we're we're impacting the same and i'm i'm just a mirror for what's available i'm just a reflection of who you truly are um and that's really what i believe so it's it's not like a i never started out to be like let me you know have all these people say nice things about me i started out cuz i really believe in the power of love and and that started when i had cancer at 14 and so it's like i just believe in that and that's that's what i continue to believe in and and um what i continue to believe in that is awesome thank you for sharing that so here's my other question and let me know whenever we're going over because it just creates more questions for me uh becoming an entrepreneur or so called an influencer where you have more than two or three individuals looking up to you my question is this is journey always exciting happy because what i see on instagram and on youtube and and I'm part of a lot of different mastermind groups is specifically for social media is emphasis on instagram marketing i see these marketers these gurus all these people and it's so funny i don't know if you notice it but i'm in the group on facebook private group there's like 50 or 100 of us we're always discussing things and in there is like stressful is this is that nothing is working is it it's like a, it's like a world war 3 is happening and and there're not that many exciting people in it they're excited but they're going through challenges but then when you look at the same person's instagram account the guy's having food trips vacations you know he's they're all glam like nobody knows about the life behind that they only see the surface so have you encountered that it is kind of two different worlds and how do you balance that do you come at and tell everybody that hey uh my success didn't just come today just by you know me doing these things i had to go through a lot of difficult time also that i had doubts things weren't working out you know i i had to file for bankruptcy couple of times whatever the case might be the challenges you went through how do you convey that to other people so they don't think that just coming to social media or becoming a business owner is always happy Yeah, and you know, it's I I so love this question. It's so interesting cuz I actually just did a post maybe like a week and a half ago and um it was all about being highly empathic or highly um passionate about your business and what it feels like to go through rejection and what it feels like to not have your vision be received by others. And I I wrote a really beautiful post and I got so many like feedback from men and women on Facebook and Instagram and I was I was really shocked about it cuz I almost didn't post it. and so many people like personally reach out and like thank me and and all of us for just like sharing the realness and how oh, my my feelings on this is that i we've been taught in a world to numb our feelings or numb our emotions and when you look at that and you try to look at entrepreneurship or you could own a business like there's not one person that started a business that didn't love what they did that's like highly successful like if you look at any highly successful person like they love what they do they're passionate about what they do and so that feeling and emotion also comes with failure also comes with rejection also comes with frustration and it's allowing yourself to go on the pendulum of emotions and feel them and then also allow yourself to be like okay this person rejected or this person was whatever on to the next like just moving it instead of staying stuck there or wondering or beating yourself up it's like just continuing momentum forward and like letting that go and not wasting time on those conversations I agree with that 100% because I do see a lot of people and and I keep telling them that you know you you got to be not that you got to be very careful but you just got to be conscious about it that just coming and doing something new 
obviously it's it's new to you so you're going to go through those up and downs but you don't want to go too far out you don't want to go too far up or down but you want to keep it you know steady and and keep it calm but uh, it's going through failure through failure without losing of enthusiasm without losing that excitement if you can do that then you're built to influence a lot of people because by you sticking around and not giving up you'll be able to inspire a lot of people and i think that's one of the things you're doing i see your page is blowing up a lot of good things are happening and uh, i'm very very excited looking forward to definitely have you uh, we have our own uh, full blown studio in, in in LA area so now that you are traveling from there and you're here we could really do this live where we could do it in the studio where you kind of uh, share with us how this journey has been and i'm definitely interested in learning your 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 process with cancer because that mental toughness is a big deal and 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 that is a a process just like NLP we were talking about last night it's a process that people need to learn so they could get themselves out of that because that that is very very important instead of instead of just using only drugs so i think that's a big big deal so um, i'm definitely interested in hearing that yeah so i actually wrote a book my first book was called live your truth and in this book i go over five steps of how i really overcame cancer or, or I, i and what i really believe is we all have an equally traumatic experience that we've gone through mine just happened to be labeled as cancer and um i actually was going to be on medication for the rest of my life and the moment that i started following my dreams which was three years ago i've been off the medication and i haven't needed it or anything like that so i think that I think the point in everything is when you truly allow yourself to dream, when you truly allow yourself just to be like, you know what, like I'm at this job, I'm at this uh, place in my life where I'm not happy with it. Like, what's the one small thing that I could do that's super simple to start making me happy today? Is that one small thing like committing to listening to one YouTube channel every morning for 30 days for 90 days? Is it listening to two pages in a book that you can do like as you're falling asleep because you're so exhausted from your life? Like whatever that is, like I just think there has to be that one small step to start your momentum and then that one small step is going to show the world of the universe that you're serious, that you're committed and that's going to allow another synchronicity to come in. Like that small one and it's just are you are you looking at those and how bad do you really want it? Like It's like even if Lloyd Hills like straight words like if you do not desire something it's not going to happen so ask yourself like do I really desire to create a better life or do I want to be stuck in this victimhood over and over and over and if you're like well I can't get out of it I can't do this like you can get out of anything in your life so many people have a similar story to you that I promise you someone with that's gone through worse than you has gotten out of it and it's just it's just a choice I agree with that 100% listen I want to thank you so much for spending this time with us looking forward have a definitely a safe trip to LA move in settle in let us know my team will definitely reach out to you and hopefully we'll do more of these to find out what's going on i think your friends in arizona might get a little bit jealous but it's okay we're, we're, we're more than welcome to have them on our show if they ever you know if it creates any friction let them know we're definitely if they're a follower of dr hills if they if they love this we love them too and we'll love to have them on our channel thank you so much for spending this time with us Thank you.